Hi, this is John Clements at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. Today is Friday, December 27th, 2019. And I'm looking at this little group of Evercris trees on Geneva 41 rootstock uh, that are five, six years old at least. Um, planted three feet apart in a tall spindle. And I'm just looking at them and uh, I'll show you in a second here. I got a little conundrum on pruning. Um, they're kind of thick. <laughs> I know in the summer the canopy is pretty dense in here and the fruit takes a long time to color up. So just looking at these, let me flip the camera here if I can figure out how to do it. Oh, I've got to stop recording to flip the camera now. Okay, we'll stop and piece this together. All right, here we go. So anyways, you can see, um, you know, these trees have been fairly vigorous. Like I said, Geneva 41 rootstock uh, planted high, but still it's a, a vigorous rootstock for a, a dwarf tree which can be good, but boy, I'm looking at these and they're kind of dense. Like I said, I know the canopy in here during the summer is fairly uh, fairly uh, shady and the fruit takes a long time to color up. Um, anyways, you know, I'm gonna take out some big branches, obviously, that's funny, there's not, I've been taking the big branches out. There's not too many big branches, but perhaps a branch like this right here will come out. We'll have to work on the top a little bit. You know, it, it's kind of gotten a little bit uh, vigorous up there. But then what am I going to do with some of this weaker wood? I guess we're just going to uh, clip it back. Uh, wood that I'm going to keep. Uh, try and make my branching more horizontal. There'll be a lot of fine work in here certainly to do on these Evercrisp on Geneva 41. Um, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it seems to branch all over the place. Um, branches I'm going to keep, I guess, you know, probably this one I'd, I'd cut back here to probably get rid of that and, and try and bring these back to some more horizontal wood. Kind of lanky things too, you know, they just stick out here like crazy. Anyways, if you got any suggestions, leave me a comment. Let me flip back. Suggestions, leave me some comments or whatever, but uh, I think these are going to be, uh, like I said, fairly interesting to prune. I should turn around this way. There you go. So you can see there's the Evercrisp in back of me. Okay, that's all. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, not bye. The other thing I'm looking at here today is uh, here's some Royal Red Honeycrisp. Um, trying to figure out uh, uh, what's flower buds and what's not. If I remember correctly, these had a decent crop on them, so let's take a look at some stuff here. All right, as I mentioned, these are Royal Red Honeycrisp on M9, Nick 29. And looking at some buds here, are these flower buds? Are these flower buds? they not focusing. Sorry about that. What do we got for flower buds? What do we got not for flower buds? Um, you know, Honeycrisp is extremely biennial. Let me zoom back out here. Um, I don't know. Um, trying to figure out what's flower buds so when I prune, I can do some precision pruning to prune down to the right number of flower buds. This isn't a terribly good example. But it's interesting. Some of these trees are fairly weak and spurry. A couple others are more vigorous and less spurry. Anyways, uh, this is kind of what happens to Honeycrisp when you overcrop it in the early years. So just throw that out there for now. I'm going to be looking at this more, maybe come up with some videos on how to identify flower buds versus fruit buds.